Hey everybody, Kershock here. Today I want to talk to you about a build I started using in 1.4 that still holds strong in 1.5. I like to call Firestar. What this build is not. This is not designed for PvP, hasn't been tested in the dark zone at all. This is not some min-max, best of the yada 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 builds. This is just a simple fun build that was designed to fill a single role. Bringing control to the battlefield. What this build is. LMG, loads of ammo, flame at your whim. Welcome to the Cleaner's Heavy Corps, home of the Four Horsemen. The idea behind Firestar is to create and then lock down kill boxes, providing the opportunity for the team to wipe out entire encounters in mere seconds, as well as use of the LMG's suppression ability to keep pesky enemies locked down so team members can flank and kill. Cornerstone of the build is the Flame Turret, with three pieces of Firecrest to grab the extra range bonuses for the turret. Performance mods on this build should favor turret and range and health. As a control build, the extra incendiaries from the two-piece come in very handy to flush stubborn enemies out of cover. We're after both the two- and three-piece bonuses on this set to synergize with the build primary weapon of choice, the LMG. For this build, I recommend either the M60 or the MG5. I personally like the MG5 for its higher rate of fire. You have lots of enemies that get flushed out of cover by your fire, so you'll want to grab the largest out-of-cover damage bonus you can. For modding the LMG, extended mags and reload reduction hand stops synergize well with this setup. Since these LMGs have such large mags, I also recommend Meticulous. The free reloads are very noticeable. For a secondary weapon, I recommend something with high bursts in the short to mid range. High rate of fire assault like the Lova C, uh, FAMAS, an SMG, or if you wish, further synergize with the Lone Star 3 piece, a shotgun. You basically want something you can switch to and finish off someone who has escaped the box and is now kamikaze rushing you while you're stuck in a reload. I leave it to you to use your favorite that fills that role. Skills. Of course the primary skill for this build is the flame turret. You're going to use it to turn choke points into kill boxes. When the battlefield lacks a choke points, you're going to be creating one. You'll be the point man on your team locking down the center while your team members protect your flank. Secondary skill I leave open for personal choice. Immunity lunchbox, self-heal, another CC skill like gas or airburst mine, or flashbang are all excellent choices. Stat points. Again, the idea of this build is not some perfect min-max stat build. Entire videos can be made discussing perfect min-max stats, so I leave your stat distribution up to you. Personally, I like to keep just enough power power to get the weapon talents I like to use. The rest I'll put into stamina electronics. Favor electronic skill power equipment mods since this build is based around trying to keep a near 100% uptime with your flame turret. Talents. The number one talent I'd recommend for this build is tech support. This can greatly extend the longevity of your turret giving you that 100% uptime. Even keeping it alive longer than the skill's cooldown timer depending on the firefight. The rest of the talents I leave up to you. My personal favorites to fill out the list are One is None, Critical Save, and Death by Proxy. This role works beautifully as part of a team but is also a very strong solo build. Forcing the enemies to fight you on your terms. Forever putting the odds in your favor. 